people i'm back with another video and today i have some new goodies in from born pretty they were kind enough to send me some more items to review and so let's hop into the goodies that i got from born pretty um they sent me over five new items um well at least new to me um and so their pat paint gel is something that i've been seeing a lot of people talk about and this is their new gel that you can use to ombre with i'm so excited to try this because you guys know i suck at doing ombres and so i'm actually going to be focusing this video on how to do an ombre using these products because i'm i'm really wanting to perfect that method so i'm gonna pop these open here shortly the other items that i got um is their rubber base gel and their super top coat so the rubber base gel you all know i've done thorough 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 reviews on these i've done wear test on these these last forever on the natural nail um i have a couple of tutorials i'll link them down below where i wore these for over a month one i wore for almost two months and it, it didn't crack it and peel it lasted and it was really good so highly recommend this product they sent it to me in the color r b g08 which is the clear i actually did go back and purchase all of their other colors um so i'll be doing maybe a haul of the full rubber base gel collection for born pretty but absolutely love the packaging on this it's a full size 15 ml bottle it's very nice very luxe instructions are here on the inside but just uh, i just love the packaging of this but yeah these rubber base gels are really great like i said i have extensive reviews on them but i definitely wanted to make sure i had all the colors in the collection and this is the consistency of it it's really thick and um I actually um, am testing this product in another way as we speak. So I actually did use this product to apply these press-on nails and they've been on for almost two weeks now. So, so far so good. Um, this product is very, very universal. Um, so you can use them to apply press-on nails. You can use it to do gel X nails. You can use it um, on your natural nails. I just, I'm a huge fan of the rubber base gel. So yeah, they sent this over. Um, along with that, they sent me some full cover tips and that's how you're supposed to, I guess, supply the rubber base gel and then they also sent over um functional gel oh i think this is their super top coat um yeah let's take a look here yeah okay so this is their super top coat i've heard a lot of great things about the born pretty super top coat so i'm excited to have it and to try it out um it is it's definitely like a thinner consistency um yeah you see it drips really fast so it's not medium it's not yeah it's a very loose loose consistency so i'll be interested to see how this holds up but i'm excited to have this and this is the 10 ml bottle okay and then last but not least are these pat pat gels so let's pop these open and get these swatched Alrighty, so i did get them in three colors i got them in pp01 and these pots are 5 ml Oh, they're all sealed on me. So whenever I have pots that are sealed like this, I like to use a cuticle nipper like this, and I'll just go around the edges and open it that way. So I'll go ahead and get this open. Ooh, that's really thick. Okay, I might need to mix it up here. But yeah, it's really, really thick. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and remove this whole thing. It is this beautiful white color. And um, I'm gonna mix it up really quick because I guess it's been sitting for a little while. You guys, this product is very, very th smooth <laughs> and creamy. Um, and it's very, very pigmented. So I opened up all these colors off camera and when I opened up that yellow, y'all, it like stained almost everything. I was able to remove it. Like even my, my nail tips got stained yellow. So I had to use some acetone to remove it. But yeah, this product looks like it's gonna be really, really highly pigmented. So I'm excited for that. But that is the whites here. And next up we have the PP02. This is the one I was talking about that just stained my nails. And that is what this color looks like. Also really beautiful. Looks like a nice little mustard yellow color here. So I'm just gonna give this a good whirl as well. Again, I love how smooth and creamy these are. It's really, really nice. So that's the yellow. And then last but not least is we have a PP06, which is a really beautiful nude color. And I got this on purpose because I wanted to be able to have a nude to kind of mix with all of the other bold colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a whirl. And look how pretty. Yeah, it's kind of a mauve nude too. Really, really nice. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get these swatched out and then we'll get to trying to ombre some nails, y'all, cause that is where the struggle is, okay? So I'm gonna go in with my gel brush here and I'm gonna swatch out the first color, which is the PP01, which is this beautiful white color. Yeah, very, very pigmented. One swipe and it's full coverage, wow. And you don't even need a lot. I mean, I probably even picked up too much product on my brush here. That's awesome. Wow, very impressive. Yeah, one coat coverage here, you guys. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cure. Next up, we have the nude. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm not even using a lot of product. This is all the product I have on the brush. And this is gonna coat the whole nail. This is some really great pigmentation. Like, I'm impressed. Look at that. Very good. Don't need a firm hand or anything, just lightly float the product on. Look at that. It's just really, really pigmented. I mean, I'm really impressed with this product, you all. Very, very impressed. Wow. A little goes a long way. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that. And then the last color I'm going to swatch is that yellow. Really, really beautiful. Again, a little goes a long way. So I'm going to just see how much I could cover with just this little bit of product because this is really pigmented. Okay. You definitely need a little more than that, but... Yeah, this is a really nice product. That is pretty. It's a nice mustard yellow. Very beautiful. Very nice. Well, that's interesting to see. So the Pat Pat Gel, it does cure tack free, which is really nice. Um, but I am still going to go ahead and apply top coat to it. But this is fresh out the lamp um, with just one coat of coverage. I am going to go in with the super top coat and I'm going to top coat all of the colors here. Okay. Yeah, it's really thin. So this is a, a lot thinner of a top coat than what I'm used to working with. But it looks like it applies well. I'm going to go ahead and cure. So I think we're going with two different ombre nails. So I'm going to do a yellow tip ombre with these two colors and then a white tip ombre with these two colors. And hopefully this will look more like a baby boomer nail because those are some nails I've been wanting to do for a really long time. So I think I'm going to start off with the white, okay? And what I want to do is I have my stiletto swatch stick here. The first thing I want to do is put down a layer of base coat and this will give me a perfect opportunity to use the Born Pretty Rubber Base Gel. So I'm going to put down a thin layer of that. You all see how this performs. This product is really, really nice. As you all can see, very smooth. Application is very easy. And it self levels beautifully. Yeah, I really, really love this product a lot. I'm going to flip it over. You all see how it self levels beautifully? I'm going to go ahead and cure. Alrighty, so this is what all the colors look like swatched out. So this is that rubber base gel. And I just want to show you all that that rubber base gel, the clear, is crystal clear. You can see right through it. There is no yellowing to it. So I absolutely love that. Um, this is the PP01, which is that white. Now with this white, um, I'm not sure if it's the top coat or um, just the polish itself after it cured. But it doesn't look as white as it did in the pot. Um, but it's still a very beautiful white nonetheless. And then we have that mustard yellow color, which is the PP02. And then that beautiful nude, which is the PP06. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into how to ombre with these really beautiful colors. I do have my swatch stick here with my rubber base on it. I am going to first coat the first top of the nail with um, just the nude. And so um, I'm going to take the nude here and just apply just to the top of the, of the nail. Don't need a lot just a little bit I was watching unpolished by Aggie if you all haven't checked her out you definitely should but um, this is how she did the ombre and her ombre came out like flawless so I was like let me try to let me try to do what she did <laughs> so I'm just gonna paint like halfway down the nail like to about here I guess all right and you want to make sure the layer is very very thin so don't use too much of this and this product is very thick like I said so a little bit goes a long way and so we'll use about that much right and then from there I'm gonna go in on the bottom half of the nail with the whites okay and again a little bit goes a long way so I'm gonna just start right here and then just paint the rest of that nail white y'all I really hope this works cuz I struggle really bad with ombre 
I'm gonna just get it really close to it and then just coat the rest of it like so. Okay, so we're starting off with this here. And Born Pretty was kind enough to send me over some makeup sponges as well. So that's what I'm going to use to do this ombre. That's what they recommend. The thing that I saw Aggie do was she said to just pat, lightly pat up and down. So lightly pat up and down and then go left to right and slightly go up and down. So kind of like small circular motions. So let's see if I can do this, y'all. I'm so nervous. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, so we go pat, pat, pat. And you just go back and forth and slightly up and down. Oops. Hope my up and down wasn't too far. She said one of the things that she liked about it too was that it doesn't pick up too much of the product, which I can agree with. Looks like it's still pretty opaque on here, which is nice. It is giving an airbrushed effect, which is pretty cool. Oh no. Y'all, I messed it up. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I don't think I can fix that now, can I? Oh, well, maybe I can. Oh, that's interesting. I think I can actually fix it. Well, that's good. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and just cure this. I think the ombre itself looks pretty good, but I kind of messed up with the tip. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that. And I'm going to actually try that one more time because I definitely did not do that right. All right, y'all. Pray for me on this second go. Yeah, I'm going to try that again. But I think this time I'm going to just use like the back end of the sponge and see how that goes. Okay. So again, I'm going to go back and forth and then slightly up and down. So I think my up and down was a little too much last time. So let me try it again. So I'm going to go pat, pat, pat. And I'm gonna go left to right and then slightly up and down. Ooh! Now that looks good. Yes! What? Do y'all see this? Holy macro. That looks amazing. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Okay, so this is how the first one turned out. Um, yeah, I don't think I did too great with it. Um, and it's definitely sure, I think I patted off too much product. I'm gonna see if I could try to maybe do it again and add a little bit more intensity to it. So I'm gonna just go down and put some more white here. And then put just a little bit more nude at the top. Let's see if I can make this one work too. I'm just going to use the other side of the sponge and again I'm just going to go back and forth then slightly up and down so back and forth and slightly up and down there we go yeah now that worked look at that you guys look at that Wow, that's amazing. All right, I'm gonna cure that. Oh my gosh. I think I actually got my first ombre, y'all. So this is the first nail, and this is the one that I did with the two coats of the Pat Pat Gel. So I think that turned out really good. I am gonna go ahead and top coat it with the Born Pretty Super Top, just so we can get a really good look at it here. And the top coat, again, I like it, but it's just a smidge too loose for my liking, but Overall, it seems like a decent top coat. And this was the second one that I did. And in the middle, it does look a little sparse. So I wonder if that's uh, because I used the center of the sponge, meaning that it didn't make that middle part as opaque. But um, I don't know, I kind of like the look a little bit. It kind of gives like a three-tier ombre look. So I'm gonna go ahead and top coat this as well. Let's try this again. So I'm gonna go in again with that nude at the tip, I mean at the top of the nail, and just do it like halfway down, okay? And then on the second half of the nail, I'm gonna go in with that yellow color, okay? So from here, we're gonna do the yellow, like so. 
and honestly even when I pick the product up I'm literally just tapping into the the product so that I don't pick up too much gel I'm gonna take a fresh sponge here and I'm gonna do that same thing where I go left to right and then slightly up and down okay so you just pat 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 Wow, you guys. Look at that. That is a gorgeous ombre. Now, it did pick up more of the color than I wanted, so I'm going with the second layer, but let me cure this. How pretty. This is how it looks with the first layer. You can see that it's still pretty translucent here at the tip, so I'm gonna go in with another layer of that. So again, I'm gonna do the nude here at the top and just do a little bit more like so and then at the tip I'm gonna go in with that yellow and I'm gonna kind of do it right there where the two colors meet and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that sponge again I'm gonna use the same side of the sponge and again I'm gonna go left to right and slightly up down okay okay happy people I found that when using the pat painting gel and the sponge it's really important to just take your time and go left to right and just ever so slightly up and down y'all don't want to make the mistake of going too far up and down like I did the first time around and kind of contaminating the tip of the ombre but yeah I really love this method super easy to use yeah you guys this looks beautiful this looks really nice I'm going to cure alrighty so these are how my ombre nails have turned out I think that the pat pat gel works very very well so this was the very first nail I did um, I will say that the tip of the nail isn't as white and opaque because I did think I patted too much and it took up a little bit more of the product that, than it should have but if we could just focus on that seamless transition from that nude to that white that's a good ombre to me you guys like I'm impressed um, and I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna compare it to a ombre that I was trying to do on my own and do you all see the difference like all like this yeah I, I'm a big fan of the pat pat gel that's what I will say okay it, it really makes the process of doing ombre nails a lot easier so that was the first one this was the second one where I used the back of the sponge as you all can see here in the middle it is a little bit um, more sheer and so next time like I said I would recommend just using the whole sponge so that it's kind of um, even across the board as far as opacity is concerned but yeah that ombre turned out really flawless and then by far my favorite nail which is this yellow ombre holy smokes I don't think I could get an ombre like this on my own without the help of the pat pat gel and those sponges really I think did the trick too so overall you guys that is how you ombre using the pat pat gel I haven't actually done um, ombre using just regular gel polish but this gives me the confidence to give it a try because um, I've been struggling this one was with regular gel polish but I used a brush instead of a sponge so I have to try with a sponge next time yeah my final thoughts on these products is overall I really do like the pat pat gels I think that they did a really great job of achieving the ombre look especially for somebody who struggles with doing ombres this was that first nail so you can kind of kind of x that one out a little bit but these two turned out really really good so i think with a little bit more practice um you know you can you can perfect that method and a little bit definitely goes a long way so i do want to get the rest of the pat pat gels too because like i said this makes life so much easier when it comes to ombre the rubber base gel you guys know i'm a big fan of this um like i said i got plenty of tutorials i use it to apply these press-ons really really love this product uh, probably my all-time favorite rubber base if i'm being honest and then the super top coat i will say that the the super top coat is very shiny very glossy um it's very nice but i will say i'm not a fan of the thin consistency of it so um maybe that's something i just got to get used to but i am used to working with like thicker uh top coats or at least the medium viscosity this one's very very thin um uh, but i think it will have a time and a place for it so yeah a special thanks to born pretty again for sending these over for review i do have a discount code with them i'm gonna leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box 
box below but you all know born pretty has some really nice high quality and affordable products they are slowly becoming another one of my favorite brands because they just i don't know their products are just really really good and very very affordable so yeah i definitely have fun testing out these new products from born pretty let me know how do you all ombre your nails do you all use a sponge do you use a brush what's your technique because that was something i really struggled with and i'm glad that i found a product that made that process easier but yeah i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye